demanding answers following the death of their son during a police traffic stop. ABC's Zareen Shaw joins us with more as the family tries to find out the circumstances surrounding the officer involved shooting. Zareen, good morning again to you. Good morning, Janae. Family, local officials, and the public were putting a lot of pressure on police. And now it is still early in the, in the investigation, but overnight, police finally released what they saw on those body worn cameras. This morning, five Utah police officers are on administrative leave following a shooting in broad daylight that left a man dead and his family searching for answers. Medic 71, Medic 71, respond to the post office once for. Shot. Overnight, Farmington police giving their most detailed account of the shooting that happened outside the local post office. According to police, 25-year-old Chase Allen was pulled over Wednesday because his car had an illegitimate license plate. They say he refused to cooperate or show any identification. Responding officers called for backup. They allegedly asked Allen to get out of the car, but they say he refused. Police then described what they saw on body camera, saying as they tried to pull him out, an observing officer yelled, gun, gun, gun. They say a struggle lasted a few seconds, and then gunshots could be heard through the camera. Police say the footage also shows an empty holster on Allen's right hip and a handgun on the driver's side floorboard. I know my guys, and if they fired shots, I'm certain they were in fear of their life. The legislature has made it so easy to carry a firearm, whether in your vehicle or on your person. So it really gets down to not the fact that he had a gun. Did he point that in the direction of the police officer? Alan's sister called what happened a brutal murder and wrote, we found out about Chase's death along with the entirety of our community via news reporters. Now, the family says that Chase was a loving soul and that he was studying law for the last few years so that he could defend people's freedom and liberty in their community. Now, as for that body camera, it is still unclear when it will be released. Wit. All right.